In this video, we will see how to use date columns in var conditions using to date and to care functions. This is for beginners. Uh, so the scenarios that we will be seeing in this video is retrieving rows or records for a given date, date range, month for a given month. I want all records for a specific year and how we are going to achieve this using to date and to care functions. So let's see employees table. In employees table, right, you do have a column called hire date column. You will be using this column, right, uh, we will be applying the filter condition in this column to retrieve the records. So let's say, right, uh, if you see, I have three employees who are hired on the same day. That is on 7th June. So if I have a specific query, right, I want to retrieve rows for a specific date. How I can write is I can say select star from employees where higher underscore date equal to I have to use the function to date. I'm giving the literal here that is the 7th June 7 6 uh, 2002. And then the format here is dd dd hyphen mm hyphen y y y. Case doesn't matter here, so you can use either uppercase or lowercase for the dd mm y y. It doesn't matter, right? So let me copy and paste this, and let me run it with lowercase also and show you guys. Since it's number, case doesn't matter. That's the thing. Dd hyphen Sorry, dd hyphen mm hyphen y y y right. So let me run this. So now I'm able to retrieve all the records for a given date, right? So how we can give the format, right? Here I have set seven June. Uh, for June uh, I have given zero six. If you want to give the uh, in months, we can give it in months also and see. The format I will use for that is instead of 6, I can say J caps UN. Then similarly, what we have to change here is I have to say MON, YY, YY, and then run the SQL. Right, so this is retrieving records for a given date. If I want to retrieve record for a date range, next question is right, I want to, this we have retrieved it for a given date. If it's for a date range, what's the SQL we'll use? Let's see. Hmm? Let me again run the original SQL. If you see in the month of August, we have two employees, right? But for two different dates. So I can give the date something like select star from employees where higher date between and then I can say, uh, let me, so now I'm going to use the lowercase just to highlight that we can do it both with the lowercase and uppercase. So I will say, let's say 15, 16, 8, 2002, right, dd, mm, y, 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 between this date and copy and paste this, and I will say 17th. Right, I get both the dates. As I said in the earlier video, we don't store the time component, so I'm not bothered about I just came I'm happy with the, just the exact date match here. When I say time component, when we create the uh, records, the higher date, we don't store the higher date with the time component. We store only the days. So the next is, right, uh, for a given month I want, right, for a given month I want, so all employees, let's say, let me say, right, I want all employees who are hired in the month of June, right? I want all employees hired in the month of June, but uh, without any 
year i am not interested in the year employees hired in the month of june so now we will see how we can use the to care function and get this information so what i will do is i will say select star from employees where to care of hire underscore date i'm converting this hire date into a month format and then i will say right june let me see whether i am able to get it yeah no records are fetched why no records are fetched because when i use to care and month it gets converted into a fixed length i can use trim on top of this or i can just give the format m o n and then i can say june j u n now if you see it will work so i am getting all employees for the month of june 17 in the month of june all the records irrespective of the day now going back why it didn't work in the earlier scenario so the next question is right why it didn't work in this scenario month june it should work because when i use to care hire date of month it appends the space after the month so we have to trim it once i trim it right trim is removing the extra space right so now you get all the records so the next question right this is an extension of what this trim does trim basically removes the additional space right so the month of june we got it so similarly if i want it for a specific year what we can do i want all employees hired in uh, 2007 or 2006 here i will say simply to care of yyy and then i will say 2006 so now i get all employees who are hired right in year 2006 so we get all employees who are hired in 2006 so basically this is how we will go about using the filters in the uh, date fields the only additional scenario we have to see is right where i store the date with time component and then if i want to retrieve all the records that's for another video thank you